What's going on, y'all? You just did me a favor by tuning in to Very Handsome, you know? Yeah, man. We're going to get to it, though. But before we do, I just want y'all to know, you know, spread more black love and not hate. And um, this has been a phenomenal experience. But we're going to get to it, though. So, man, first and foremost, I'm going to say this much. When I came on the show, I had every intention on finding my other half, you know, finding my best friend, my lover, my companion. I didn't come on this show for entertainment purposes. If you watch my story closely, you can see that these women took this game show lightly. They already stated that they weren't on here looking for love. Um, they just came back from a rebounds and something to that effect. You know, several people tagged me in these videos and, um, it's a shame, you know, you would come on a game show. Um, Esther stated that she was on there for networking purposes, but she must have forgot this is a game show. You know, people came on here for love. So if that wasn't your true intentions, why would you come on there? Now, for those that feel like I was being disrespectful to women, that is the furthest thing from the truth. You know, um, one thing about me is I'm well aware that a woman would never supersede my purpose. You know, my purpose comes first in life. All a woman can do is be an addition to it. You know, if God wills, because everything was predestined. So I have no control over that. Um, I feel like Esther, she was, she, she's a beautiful woman and, um, she's a God fearing woman. She's on her quest of spirituality and finding herself, but she's still young. You know, she's only 23 years old. So don't judge her. She doesn't, she probably hasn't dealt with a man like me before because I'm big alpha. I manifest alpha energy. And it's just certain things that I'm not going to put up with because I know what I bring to the table as a man. And um, as y'all remember, I stated several times on the show, being promiscuous is one of the main things that I did not like. And she was manifesting signs of promiscuity. How was she doing that? Well, after the show. Okay, so let me tell y'all. Um... We hit it off well. The conversation was very pleasant. It was phenomenal. I must say, you know, when we matched and she did her little tricky dance moves at the end, in my mind, I'm like, oh, wait, okay, baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get in tune with your rhythm, queen, because, yes, you look phenomenal, but I can't let the appearance be the interference. I need to know if your inner beauty matches your physical features, because if it doesn't, you know, we're not going to align. We're, we're just going to be um, manifesting what? Lust? We're going to be lusting over one another. And that's not what I'm looking for. I honestly, truly want to find that woman that is going to give me a family that I'm going to come home um, to work to from. Um, and if you are and I feel this way. Because I know, you know, what type of man I am. I'm big alpha. After you meet me, baby, your eyes, you should not have a wandering eye. Because you met the prize. The winning prize is right in front of your eyes. And if you can't see that, you are not for me, baby. And if she ain't acting like that, fellas, y'all got to disqualify him, man. Stop qualifying the man. And I'm not leading with my money, honey. That is the furthest thing from the case. I'm just letting you know, hey, baby, I got it. But if you think Esther was finna get some money up out of me, boy, she wasn't finna get a wooden nickel. One thing about me is I don't treat women. I court them. You know, it's a big difference in a real way. And I'm going to court my wife and that queen out there somewhere. Baby, if you watching this, hello, my man. I love you. And I'm waiting on you to come home. No, in a real way, because I'm waiting, you know, and. It took for me experiencing 
um, failed relationships to realize what I needed and what I wanted up out of a woman. I've been in a relationship with a promiscuous woman that I gave my heart, mind, body, and soul to, and she left me destroyed in the end. And I'm not in the destroying business. I'm in the building business. That's why I decided to become a licensed plumber, though, baby, though. Yeah, for real. But um, so after the show, uh, me and Esther were having a conversation. And if Esther gave her number to Rhino, the proof is in the pudding right there. The proof is in the pudding. If you gave your number to Rhino, because Rhino's not the person. Um, she gave her number or her Instagram or whatever to Chandler. Now, fellas, peak game right here. One thing is you never address another man about a woman's conduct. If this is your woman, even though she's not my woman, you know, I did what I call a temperature check. I want to know what type of time is we really on before I start investing my heart, mind, body, and soul into you because when I find a woman, that's my problem. I'm a cancer. I go into the situation thinking, you know, this is going to be the last one. I'm going to make this work. You know, I'm manifesting perseverance, trying to get it to work. But they always have a wandering eye. So they miss out on a profound opportunity with me. It's always um, a physical attraction on the next woman's end. So I have to be very cautious about who I allow into my life. Because women do happen to like these big muscles though. These big turtle muscles though. Oh wait. But yeah, anyway. Um, you know, turtles got the hardest shell. So I appreciate, you know, all the love, all the hatred. But Chandler came up to her. And uh, he handed her his phone. Boom. He handed her the phone just like this. So I look at, I turn to look at her. Like I just said, you don't address another man. I turn to look at her. I said, that's what you're doing, baby. She said, yeah. Oh, what? I turned around. You're disqualified immediately because you don't know what the prize look like. Your eyes still wandering. Baby, I found my match. You know, we about to have a ball. You don't even know what I have planned for us. I, psh, Boy, we was finna have the most fun, probably the most fun day in your life. But you blew it. You you effed off the church's money with that move right there. So, and no disrespect to bro, because I can't be upset, man. Hey, you know, if she chose to give her Instagram, and, and then the thing is, you did it in front of my face. Like, I, would, I wouldn't even have, even because I'm not your man. It's just a respect thing. Like, it's big alpha energy. Like, Hello, do you not see me standing here? Um, what type of man do you think I am? 